Welcome back. Well, I've got a funny story for you out of where Miles Stomping Grounds in Southern California. A mayor has gotten into a little trouble here. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of a crappy situation. I'll oh, tell you why. Yeah, yeah. His name is Dennis Nyer. He is the mayor of San Marino, California. There he is right there. There's old Dennis. Well, check out this video. He is caught on camera tossing poop in his neighbor's yard. Oh, you moron. That there is... are video cameras out there, and you're the mayor. And the, the neighbor, get this, had a sign out there that said, poop free zone. So the mayor's like, screw that. Tosses his dog's feces into his neighbor's yard. What is he doing? He, I like, don't he's know. just strolling by. He's got his shorts on, I'll carrying a <laughs> scary briefcase, and. Just throws it in there. And I will tell you what, in Southern California, they are serious about you pick up after your dog. And they are serious about being angry at this mayor. They asked him to resign. The city council did. A lot of people showed up at a city council meeting. Uh, news today is he is resigning. He has wow. turned down his resignation letter, issued an apology. He says he is going to pay the littering fine that yeah. he was given by the police. But the guy, the neighbor is still mad. He's like wants to sue the mayor and the city. Oh, so what we'll do you, see. okay, sue, really? Yeah. Now that's going a little too far, too. I know. But you're the mayor. How do you not know that, like, there are cameras everywhere? I don't know. And that you were captured tossing poo is just fantastic. It's hilarious. I mean, poop took down a mayor. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. He, he's out. The guy in Toronto had to do crack and everything else to finally get ousted. That guy just tossed some poop. San Marino, you toss some poop, you're going to get in trouble. Oh, wow, that's great. And to get caught on right. video, that is so trashy that's and fantastic. great. I love that and I story. Love, and I love the neighbor <laughs> for calling the local news and yeah. saying, I got a great video. Oh, you know that's why I put the video camera out there to catch people tossing yeah, poop. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it, worked, it worked out that's great. Hilarious. Well, we got to talk. You know, I love fast food. You do love some fast food. You go into a fast food restaurant, you see the menu up there, you've watched the commercials, and you get the hamburger, and it doesn't look anything like it. No, it's Never. awful. It's always a major disappointment. Well, there was a guy that was tired of it and he wanted to put it to the test and see if they would actually make the burgers to look like they do on the menu and then the commercials yeah. so he put on fake sunglasses with okay. a camera Another and he went hidden in camera. hidden camera and he went in and videotaped what happened so what do you think do you think when he goes into a fast food restaurant they will actually laugh at him or they'll make him a new sandwich this mm -hmm. is what happened i'm just getting a big mac today His name is greg hmm. this doesn't look quite as pretty I'm looking at this picture of the Big Mac, and it looks kind of sad and dry. And can you make one that looks like yes, the picture? Not a problem. Okay, great. <laughs> Thanks very much. You like that? <laughs> you, you ever hear people ask for that before? I never heard that before. Okay, great. Thank you. Oh, look at that. See, that's that's a little better, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you very much for the feedback. I appreciate it. Thank you. That guy's awesome. Yeah, greatest McDonald's employee ever, too. That guy know, laughing right? was hysterical. So, was so he went to one after another after another. Burger King, they made him a new sandwich. He went to uh, Jack in the Box, they mm -hmm. made him new tacos. Wow. They all actually went along with it and said, yeah. yeah, no problem, we'll do it for you. And they wanted to make him happy. So, they all made him new food. Oh, my gosh. And no. most of it looked like it actually did in the commercial and in the picture. So, I know, right? That, it's, so, they are capable of making it that way. They yes. just choose not to. I think that's pretty yeah. much the point of the story. That's they can, awesome. they just don't want to. You know, if I asked somebody to redo my sandwich, I'd be getting like the sneeze McMuffin. I oh, mean, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's that. There's, yeah, he wasn't actually back there looking. That's got, a good point. You run that risk, that's for sure. Yeah, that's got to so be funny. careful. You worked in fast food, didn't you? I did not work in oh, fast food, well, but well, hey, you know. if this doesn't work out, I have a future. <laughs> All of us who did know what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, before we throw it over to the live stage, we're going to give the songwriter con contestants for Tony Sampley's event on Friday. A secret word to incorporate into their songwriting. That's right. So we know that these songs are legit and written just for this contest. The secret word is legends. legends. The word is legends. legends. So there you go. There if you're yeah. writing these songs, you're one of the great finalists. Legends. Legend. I like the way you, I like the way you talk like that. 